SPI and ACC jointly administer Operation Clean Sweep. And on behalf of both our organizations and the entire plastics industry, we'd like to thank you for signing on as an OCS partner. By committing to these best practices, your company is taking the first step toward ensuring that the plastic materials which pass through your facilities are handled with the care they deserve so that none of them enters our streams, waterways, or oceans. During the next few minutes, plastics professionals will share their best practices. Each of them has had first-hand experience implementing Operation Clean Sweep. We hope this video helps educate your employees as you take the simple but important steps necessary to prevent pellet, powder, and flake loss. Thanks again for signing on to Operation Clean Sweep. We wish you success as your company continues its journey towards zero pellet loss. I think all companies need to be a good neighbor to their environments, their neighborhoods, their counties and states. Um, we can't just leave it to someone else. Zero pellet loss, 100% containment. These aren't just words. For signatories of Operation Clean Sweep, these statements are real world goals. OCS guidelines demonstrate your commitment to a clean environment, contribute to workplace safety and reduce material waste. Implementing OCS starts with a site audit, a comprehensive assessment of your facility that identifies locations where pellet, flake or powder loss occurs. So we take a group of eight or nine people and we'd go throughout the plants and what we would do is them eight or nine would attack certain areas. We have two factories and one had, a, you know, I'm thinking in terms of storm drains right off, one had a very centralized system where we were able to come in with one large um, you know, solution of screens and, and catch basins and whatnot. In our other facility, we had a decentralized uh, uh, storm drain system, and really each individual point had to be identified and uh, isolated. Our processes are designed to maintain containment. Now, the one opportunity that we have for exposure is when we're loading the pellets. What will happen is the uh, soles of those shoes with spilled resin will actually get inside um, the little crevices on the bottom of the shoes and as they walk out, walk to their cars on the parking lot, that resin will become dislodged, wind up on the parking lot. Next time it rains, uh, it'll wind up in the storm drain. The next step is to upgrade your facility, addressing each of the areas of concern found during your assessment. A solution may sometimes be as simple as the shoe cleaner to remove pellets picked up by footwear. Other times, an upgrade may require a little bit of engineering. When you buy a blender system, it's very open. So it would dump some off to the side. So we had one of our maintenance technicians fabricate something and we found that to pretty much reduce the pellet to the floor. Many times, solutions are quite straightforward. Adding catch trays and screens, modifying spill procedures, making cleanup tools like brooms and vacuums readily available. Easy solutions like these can go a long way toward preventing material loss. One of the big things that we did um, early on was put out bins for folks uh, to put uh, swept resin in. So if it does fall on the floor, make it easy for people to recycle it and to get it back into a stream. At the loading area, we put a retractable tray that would catch the small little pellets as they hooked up or unhooked from the truck. And we were able to just take that retractable tray and then dump it into a box rather than allow it to touch the ground. And we uh, 3D printed a uh, special screen to go on the end of the water dump so that it traps all the resin pellets so none of those resin pellets get into the uh, water streams. Many facilities take delivery of material through truck or rail cars. These are prime targets for upgrades to prevent pellet, flake or powder loss. There is a tray system that we're putting in place. It's actually going to go uh, three foot on each side of the rail as well as the center of the rail. We're putting down 180 foot. After assessing your facility and implementing upgrades, the next step is to educate and train your employees. They end up in the waterways. You can't have this level of commitment without total um, buy-in by the plant employees. Um, from your, our packers to our managers to upper management, we all needed to be 100% into this to assure that it was a success. All employees at our facility go through what we call awareness level training, where everyone is aware that it's not, when you see pellets on the ground, that that's not good. So in the event of a spill, they can quickly address it and use the, what they've been taught 
in order to address the spill and maintain containment within our facility. We don't make it a separate program, but we really integrate it in part of their daily jobs to make sure that we're maintaining control of our pellets and not releasing them into the environment. And they're common sense, so and the employees, they really want to do the right thing when they hear what the goals are. We share the PowerPoint presentation uh, once a year uh, for Operation Clean Sweep. Uh, we also have our employees sign the pledge once a year and we put that in their files. Once upgrades are in place and employees are trained, it's important to maintain procedures by establishing an inspection and enforcement system. So we have every employee in this plant twice a month do an observation form. Did you see a spill? Well, what would you do about it? Did you clean it up? You know, we really recognize that clean sweep is a, is a journey and not so much a destination. So a year we feel like the bulk of the work was done and we had working things uh, in place, but it was, it's been continuous refinement since then. Lastly, the success of Operation Clean Sweep depends on industry involvement. Whenever the opportunity arises, promote the program to help facilitate its success. Well, the plastics industry is genuinely concerned about protecting the environment, and I think Operation Clean Sweep is a way for more and more companies to show that dedication and commitment by implementing the right procedures that help keep pellets out of the environment. Our good housekeeping practices, operational excellence procedures, and other best practices we share with our service providers. Not only our rail car providers and bulk service providers, but also our joint ventures. I think a lot more companies should step on board, and I think it's a natural progression of where we all need to go to get better in helping the environment. The plastics industry takes seriously the threat to marine wildlife and the environment, and values our role as environmental stewards the good news is that Operation Clean Sweep is truly making a difference. Operation Clean Sweep does make a difference. We've seen a decrease in the amount of plastic pellets measured in the ocean over the past few years, and that decrease is attributed to companies implementing procedures like Operation Clean Sweep. It's easy to get started. For additional information and to download brochures, manuals, checklists, and more, visit opcleansweep.org. Operation Clean Sweep. Together, we can achieve zero pellet, flake and powder loss.